Lords and ladies of the Gamer Realm, welcome. For today is a good day, for we shall be presenting to you a game filled with adventure, treasure, and of course a cranky ghost. Without further ado, your chariot awaits. <laughs> What a great joke! Comedy gold right there. Whew. Viewers are gonna love it. <laughs> Wait. They won't get it until... Oh wait, never mind. They'll know because of the title of the video. Phew! That's right. This time around, we are playing Chariot. The game setup is simple. The king has died, and they are wheeling his casket to its final resting place when... Wait! Why am I still here? Shouldn't I be ascending? I was told there would be a bright light. Where's my bright light? You call this a sepulcher worthy of my majesty? I know the royal catacombs are quite a ways from the palace, but is this the best you could do? Go forth into the catacombs, find me a sepulcher worthy of my magnificence, and fill it with riches. The king demands a more lavish death style? Yeah, death style. It's up to his daughter and her fiance to push his coffin around a complex cave system and collect treasure. As you go along, you'll find blueprints for various items that can help you out. You'll continue your spelunking deeper and deeper into the caves, searching for the perfect resting place for the king. Navigate your way through the level, running, jumping, and using special items, all while keeping the king's coffin with you. You can use ropes, push, pull, or ride the king's coffin through the level. The goal of each level is to find an exit and collect as much treasure as possible. The end result is some really interesting, challenging, and most importantly fun platforming I've played in a while. To add to the experience, some areas of each level can only be accessed by playing cooperatively with a friend. And unlike other platformers, where you simply just play through the levels together, this one requires you to communicate, work together, and try to figure out what different actions you need to perform to suspend or do other things together, trying to figure out the best way to collect each treasure. Because everyone knows spelunking is more fun with friends! This is spookier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Visually, Chariot is cartoony and amusing. Everything is well designed and easy to see. Each environment features its own zaniness. The animations of all the different assets are fantastic and have this pleasant bounce to them. It all comes together fantastically and creates a very whimsical experience. There is a lot to do in this game. Whether it's going back to get something you missed, trying to beat your previous score, taking another path, or progressing the story, there is no shortage of replay value. It's fun to go through with a partner and grab some of those more challenging treasures. However, if you do this, I recommend a partner older than one and a half. Chariot is straight up a good time. You'll smile every time you hear the jolly shopkeeper talk. Check out the waterfalls, they're enchanting. You'll grit your teeth as you reach the more challenging areas. And you'll laugh when you play with a friend as you try to coordinate your two characters to do what you want them to. It was, however, hard to play this game and not think about my own demise and what that might mean for little gamers. I know it's kind of dark, but I just couldn't help it. Here I was playing a game where a dad dies and his daughter and her fiance have to wheel his coffin around to find the perfect resting place so his ghost would leave them alone. I can only hope that a similar situation occurs in my life 
or in my death, that those left behind are willing to do what's necessary to get me to my perfect resting place. Though, I'm thinking more weekend at Bernie's than cave exploration. So get out there, look into the horse's mouth, and take this chariot out for a ride. Woo! Thanks so much for watching this episode of Daddy Gamer. If you enjoyed yourself, let me know by hitting a like. If you liked us enough to know when more videos come out, the subscribe button is the best way to do that. Daddy Gamer also has an official Facebook and Twitter. There you can find updates about current projects and posts about dadding and gaming. If you need to see a new episode right now, click for the last episode where we reviewed The Last of Us. A very special thank you to my friend and colleague Zach for providing equipment and making each and every episode possible. Thank you so much. Kids, have fun, and parents, join them. <laughs>